Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those who are new here, I am Psychic Bella Love. You can book your own personal and private reading with me on my website, psychicbellalove.com and new clients can use coupon code NEW, all in caps at checkout for an extra discount. Also, you can join my Patreon. That is the only place that I do requests for videos. Also, my Patreons get exclusive content from me every single day. Nothing that I ever post on YouTube. Everything is uncensored. We literally dive into everything and talk about everything over there. Also, you can follow me on Instagram as well. That's usually where I post first if I do any specials or sales or anything like that. So make sure you check all that out. All that information will be in the description box below. This is going to be a look at Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith's marriage. Um, I actually was sitting down doing the reading, looked up and realized I forgot to press record. So we are starting over. I have the cards laid out. Um, already so it, this has been a crazy day my patreons already know i've been running around taking care of stuff all day and craziness has just been mercury retro grids like listen bitch we're not completely done yet right so that's i'm feeling it uh <laughs> And also, if you do see me kind of squinting or it seems like I'm not able to keep my eyes open all the way, um, if you missed it, I was saying in another video, my tripod ring light thing that used to hold the phone in the middle of it, you know, so I just only had to have one thing, um, tipped over and broke completely. So I am just using it as a light and the cover that goes over the light broke, so literally just the lights are at me and I'm like this you know trying not to go blind and still look at the camera and talk to you guys and I have my camera up on a bunch of boxes because that's the only stable way that I can have things set up right now I am going to replace it I've just had to replace my stands and lights like seven times in the past two years so I'm really trying to make sure that we get the right one this time uh, so I am not, unfortunately, I wish I was on anything. <laughs> it is a Tuesday morning, so we can't be doing all of that, but that's why. And yesterday I sat down and recorded like eight videos for Patreon and YouTube. And by the end, I could barely keep my eyes open and I had the migraine of life last night so <laughs> but let's jump into this and also guys i will also have my backup channel linked below too make sure you follow that because once we hit a thousand subscribers over there which is the threshold to be able to go live on youtube um i will then be able to go live and we can do live celebrity readings over there as well so this is Will and Jada. Like I said, I had already sat down and started recording and I, well, I had sat down and started the reading. I forgot to start the recording part, so we had to start over. Uh, it's really fun. When, it's, it's already like uncomfortable as hell when you really sit there and realize that you're talking to yourself in an empty house. And then you realize you weren't even recording anyways and you got to do it all over again. And you're just like, if there's any spirits watching me, they're probably like having like the most fun laughing at my dumb ass right now. So, alrighty. Will and Jada, you know, every, I know whatever, like people were saying the latest round of headlines of her saying she wasn't happy with their, you know, bedroom life was kind of taken out of context and blown out of proportion. But the overall sentiment basically is that people view Will as this long suffering husband and Jada is this controlling cold person who, you know, doesn't let him have any life and she's cheating on him and doing all this crazy stuff and emasculating him. And so a lot of people are either like, if he wasn't going to leave her before this, you know, at some point, this is leading up to that. Others want him to leave, you know, people, some people are like, 
this has always been the dynamic of their relationship and they are happy. So I just wanted to take a peek and see what spirit had to say about everything. So this was the, you know, first poll overview. What was the first message that spirit wanted to give us? Um, you know, there is this energy from the both of them and the underlying energy that they would be happier if they were to completely just dissolve everything at this point and go their separate ways 100% for good. However, you know, and this has been going on for a long time is what Spirit's saying. There was always that element of we have to stay together for the kids. Well, the kids are grown. They know, obviously, very much just like the rest of us, you know, how this whole relationship is or isn't. So it's not like you need to keep up a front for the kids anymore, right? That's, you know, the first thing that Spirit is saying as to why they've stayed together. Um, and, you know, the funny thing here that Spirit is also talking about is from Jada's point of view, she did feel like when she moved on or got in her entanglement or whatever you want to call it with August, she really was putting a lot of hope on that. It made her feel like she was, I guess the word is like living life, you know, to sound like Kourtney Kardashian. Yes, I know. My voice sounds like a Kardashian. I live in California. I grew up here. Sorry, can't help it. So... And I have a deviated septum for anybody who ever wants to go talk about, you know, oh, she sounds nasally or this or that. Well, I've broken my nose like five times. So that's why I can't help that either. So I hope you feel bad actually. Because some people be really rude in the damn comments. And it's like, who pissed in your, you know, Cheerios this morning? But anyways, um... She was, you know, she felt like for the first time this made her feel alive again. Like she felt like she had almost, you know, either was just always numb emotionally and going through the motions or depressed. But there wasn't a lot of hope, excitement, happiness, joy, something to look forward to from her perspective, right, in her own life. And so... It, there was more to that whole thing other than just I found myself falling for somebody else or sexually attracted to somebody else or whatever, you know, that she thought it was. It was deeper in that he made her feel alive again and made her excited, you know, to wake up in the morning because she felt like there was more out there than what she had just been doing and experiencing and feeling. So when that situation ended, that hope and all of that went with it. So it, what she thought was going to save her ended up making her feel even more trapped in her current situation, her marriage, you know, her life basically. Because the Spirit's saying a lot of Jada's issues really doesn't have anything to do with her actual marriage. And we're going to have to like finish this reading on Patreon, I feel like, because there's a lot more that they want to say. And I'm like, oh, we cannot do that on YouTube. Uh, <laughs> that's why I hate to bring myself. So, uh, you know, but she definitely was attributing her unhappiness with herself and feeling the way that she didn't like where her life went and all of that. And it was a transference onto her relationship with Will and blaming everything on being unhappy with being a wife and a mother and feeling like stuff had been taken away from her because of that instead of her realizing that, you know, she also took herself away from a lot of opportunities too. Because... You guys, let's face it. I mean, she's Jada Pinkett Smith. 
she could have been making movies her will was always working they have they produce things on their own you know they have a pull and a power in hollywood that a lot of other people do not have so if jada wanted to have done more than just what she had been doing all she had to do was call up somebody and say hey i want to do a show and they would have gave her a show you know or i want to be in a movie or this or that she would have found work that's what spirit's saying she took herself out of everything and put herself in this hermit mode and didn't realize that it was her so it she hasn't a hundred percent recovered from her breakup with August because that was something that Spirit is saying, you know, she almost saw that as her out. And if she and he, you know, if, if she felt like he was equipped to go the distance and really make that a real serious like let's be together leave your husbands you know we're gonna run off and live in egypt together and live like nomads or whatever like if he had really pushed her to do something like that and she felt like he was serious she would have gone and that's what she was hoping for but obviously things didn't work out in that direction and she felt like that pushed her to be in a situation where she was forced to stay in the life that she was unhappy with and stay with the man that she's just no longer happy with and work on things there. And that's where that, you know, four of swords comes in of feeling trapped and her still not being completely over this. Her turning into much more, you know, towards spirituality is about her pursuit of her own happiness and trying to find herself again and trying to heal from that. And I'll tell you this too, guys, what Spirit's saying as far as Tupac, and that's something that I'm going to record something for Patreon about this and say all this stuff that I can't say on YouTube just because it will violate terms and services um, and we'll talk about Tupac more on that level too. But what Spirit is saying is, you know, it's easy for her to hold on to this idea that Tupac was the, was the one that got away and her best friend and her soulmate and the love of her life and, the, you know, and tell herself that she had to settle for Will and blah, 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 blah. Well, first of all, she was never actively pursuing to be in a relationship with Tupac when he was alive. She never went after him and said, let's be together. And Spirit saying, they never would have ended up together anyways. They were way too different romantically. And it's just because she feels, again, that things went in a direction in her life that she's unhappy with. Spirit saying she looks at Will as you're not as much of this dominant leader, strong personality person who's gonna take charge and be in control. You're more of a softy and more emotional and more calm and Tupac would have been the one that was like, we're not doing this, Jada, or we're doing that instead. And she thinks that that would have somehow been more attractive to her. When in reality, she would have beat his ass, cussed him out, and they would have ended up in a horrible, toxic relationship. Probably would have been like left eye, you know, in somebody's bathtub caught on fire. And they would have broken up. That's what Spirit's saying. So it's like she wouldn't have been able to handle a man who really was like Tupac it's easy for her to look back and think that. And she's also remembering somebody, a man who was in his early 20s. A man in his early 20s is not the same as a man in his 50s. And who Tupac would have ended up growing into and becoming later on in life wouldn't have been the same person that he was when he was thug life, you know, rapper Tupac with the whole bravado and I can pull girls and this and that. So, you know, who she thinks would have been her perfect person anyways, probably wouldn't have been. And he probably would have grown and changed over the years. <laughs> so 
So that's why she's really holding on to something that she shouldn't be. So, Sarah, how does Will see and feel about Jada? Thank you. And I have to say this too, because I'm old enough to remember, because I am 39. Um, I remember when Will and Jada, you know, got married and they got married when she was pregnant with Jaden. And I remember her being on, I don't, it was some, you know, daytime talk show that my mom was watching after school one day and she was pregnant with Jaden. And they were asking her about her and Will, um, Will's marriage. And, you know, most people, newlyweds, they're all excited and gushing about each other. And, oh, you know, he's my soulmate and I just knew and we're going to have this baby now. You know, they seem over the moon and stuff. And she was just like, yeah, I got pregnant. So he did the right thing and proposed. It was like, so like, yeah, whatever, you know. And it was just like, girl, that's. That's not how you're, you know, you would expect somebody to be talking about getting married. I mean, regardless of if it was only because you got pregnant and you guys were, you know, trying not to be a statistic or do the right thing or whatever. I mean, at least usually people wouldn't want everybody to look at them like oh so you all just got married because you're having a kid so it's a shotgun wedding and usually you know usually people in that situation go even more overboard of oh we were gonna get married anyways and then we found out we were pregnant so we just decided to go ahead and get married before the baby was born to make things easier you know and they want to talk up how great their relationship is because they don't want people to think anything funky but it was just you know she's always talked about him and their marriage in a very weird way or her voice changes or her demeanor does if you guys haven't noticed so the more that she said about how she felt over red table talk and then spirit confirming it <laughs> makes sense i'm like oh girl that's where all that energy was coming from because you never were all that happy about being here anyways so will you know his underlying energy here what it's talking about is yes they originally did get married and get together and stay together because of kids but he felt like especially having been divorced already you know, he didn't want to go through all of that again. And so he was willing to fight to make it a, a happy marriage. And it's talking about at times, you know, he was willing to do certain things that either, and spirits say none of it was ever a surprise. Like this was always agreed upon between the both of them. And Jada is the one that brought it up. And you know, this is referring to open relationships and things like that. He was willing to do that because he felt like if it makes her happier and if it gives me an opportunity to be able to fill in the gaps of what I feel I'm not receiving in this relationship because Spirit's saying he wasn't feeling emotionally um, taken care of or supported or fulfilled or understood in their marriage. And so it for him, it wasn't so much about Oh, wow, you know, that girl is so hot. I just got to get with her. It was actually about him looking to fulfill somebody loving me, me feeling like somebody cares about my point of view and my side of things, that kind of stuff. So it, he did, you know, participated in certain things thinking, okay, well, if this is what's going to make us happy and this is what's going to make you happy and this 
might be the ticket instead of just splitting up. However, this hasn't really helped Will, you know, and, and Spirit saying after the whole August thing happens, he was really, really mad at her and really hurt because that wasn't something that they had had an agreement to. There was certain people that were off limits and it was, you know, the whole thing of we got to be open and honest with each other about who else the other person is involved with and she wasn't being honest with him about all of that and what was really going on whereas he was always upfront with her about where he was and who he was with and all of that so it, he was at least hopeful though like at least maybe this finally puts us in a place where we either come to some sort of agreement that we compromise we're gonna cut everybody else out and just solely focus on each other and finally be together and work it out or we're gonna go our separate ways and he still feels like things are all over the place and hanging in the balance and he doesn't like it he's actually you know i don't know if you guys have seen he has this whole um documentary series i guess with youtube coming out about how he was trying to get back in shape and he said that it ended up being more of a spiritual and emotional journey for him too and not just oh we're getting into the best shape of our life for a movie or something and Part of what he has discovered through that spirit is saying is that he doesn't want to go through this stuff anymore. It really made him realize that putting up appearances to act like, okay, you know, we're still this power couple, you know, because I mean, let's face it, at the end of the day, Will is pretty balanced. I give him a lot of credit for that. He you know, never got caught up in too much craziness and Hollywood drugs, scandals, any of that kind of stuff. You know, he's never been overtly sexual or, you know, cursing a lot in his music or anything like that. Like, he definitely wanted to you know, represent himself as something other than a stereotype. And you have to give him so much credit for that because so many people are willing to just go along with what is cool and not take that risk to just be who you are and present yourself in a certain kind of way and keep that image going and be that person and be a good role model and not be future, you know, or something like that. Um, because that wasn't always easy and you know I'm sure there was plenty of times that he stood his ground or turned down certain things where he was told you know that if he didn't start compromising opportunities were going to dry up for him and because of that you know Spirit is saying you know the way that he wanted his career and his image to be he didn't want to be that guy that had multiple divorces and a bunch of baby mamas because even though they were marriages to him, it was still failed relationships and children who don't have both parents in the household. But he's really come to realize that, you know, like everybody else is always saying, it's a lot better for kids to have happy parents than miserable parents and the same house, he's really coming to this conclusion. He found his inner peace and, you know, he really knows who he is and what he wants going forward. So let's see what is coming because Spirit really wanted to show us both where they're both coming from. And, you know, Spirit said, like, he feels like Jada wakes up and chooses to be in a depressive energy every day. And he doesn't want to be in that with her. He chooses to wake up and, you know, if he's not feeling it that day, he's thinking, 
hey, well, I'm not feeling great today. What can I do to raise my vibration? Should I go for a run? Should I listen to some music? Should I drink a cup of coffee? Should I actually not have any caffeine and just go meditate? Like he really is figuring out how do I turn my mood around? And he feels like, you know, Jada wakes up in a bad mood and she's like, let me go record a red table talk and talk about how miserable I am and how much I hate my life and how my marriage doesn't help anything. So they are completely on opposite pages as to how they want to go about things, like from his perspective. Spirit, I'm going to end up getting a divorce. Thank you. What is to come from this marriage? What is the outcome? I keep feeling like there's going to be a lot of really long-term relationships that are going to end up splitting up next year. Like ones that we'll really be surprised about. So... And don't be surprised too if they don't file like on, you know, like some people, I guess, I didn't know this, but I just recently heard about it, um, is that like people purposely file divorce on like election day or when there's something else big going on because that way like everybody's talking about whatever, you know, who's going to win for mayor of whatever, who's going to get this or that so that they're obviously not talking about, oh my God, did you see so-and-so file for divorce this morning? And they're really living very separate lives. Um, they're only in the same house if they're filming something in that house together. They don't even live in the same house. Jada lives there. Will lives. Spirit saying Will has a house and a condo. Like, literally, he has another house, like, in the next neighborhood over and then a condo downtown. And they're saying that's where he spends all his time. But he is not in that house with Jada unless they have to film stuff and pretend like they live in the same house. Okay. They're going to end up getting divorced, guys. Um, sometime within, I hate doing time frames, but give it about, you know, sometime probably next year or within a year from this reading, we will hear that they have moved on and we'll probably actually see Jada be the one that files, but they're going to do what, you know, all of these high profile people do. They try to settle and split everything up and come to all these agreements beforehand before they, and you know, file. So that way there's once it's filed, you know, they just have to sign off on stuff and then it can go through because otherwise things do get held up because there is in here talking about they are already in discussions and have had talks and they have over the years about stuff, but this past year it's been more and more and more of you know, maybe we should not do this business anymore and just go ahead and shut that down when really the whole reason is, you know, behind the scenes because it's easier to shut it down and then just reopen it under a different name than to dissolve, you know, have to split everything up and who gets what and all of that. Um, so it, Spirit said there's already been like some transferring of things and things being renamed and renegotiated and stuff. They're actually, you know, going through the motions already and talking about what can they each do and how can they peacefully exit this relationship. I don't feel that they've a hundred percent, you know, sat down and said we're like divorcing yet or put a time frame on it. But they both know that that's where it's going. 
Um, also, Jada is going to have another lover if she doesn't already. And it's going to be... Somebody younger. She also is likes women. So I wouldn't be surprised if Ooh. Oh. Spirit saying she does have a female lover who's younger than her, but that's not who she's gonna end up wanting to leave this relationship for. There's actually another younger man. It's not August. Her and him are not getting back together. But there is another younger man that's going to come along. She hasn't gotten involved with him yet, but she will before they officially decide to separate for good. And that's going to be her deciding factor that she's ready to go ahead and call it quits, move on with her life. Will is going to be like, oh, thank God I got my freedom. Both of them are going to be really happy to be done with this marriage. Because it really has felt like a punishment, a timeout, a noose around, you know, the ball and chain, that baggage that you got to drag around. Like, it has not been pleasant for either one of them. They've both been miserable. And, uh, you know, it really was just, it's a hassle to separate everything. How are we going to explain this to the public? But... Both of them are just done with, you know, having to carry on and pretend. They want to move on with their lives and be free and not have to worry. Oh, we saw you somewhere with some so-and-so, you know, and the rumor mill to start up. And for people to just be like, well, they're single. They can do what they want. So anyways, guys, I am going to go ahead and end that here. I love you all so much. I hope everybody is having an amazing Tuesday. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Let me know. Who do you guys think that this other younger guy is? I'm like racking my brain trying to figure out like, because they said it'll be somebody in the industry, but not somebody super duper duper like well known yet. You know, like people kind of know him. It's going to be, you know, I think it'll be like August. We're like not, he's not super mainstream, but people know him. You know what I mean? I think it's going to be a little similar to that. So I'm just very nosy on who this could be, though. <laughs> so anyways, guys, I love you so much. If you want to know all the rest of the dirty details about this, then make sure that you head on over and subscribe to my Patreon because there's a lot more to this and we about to get into it. All right. Bye.